Hey, Hello, Jack. hanging, son. Much happening around the traps? Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember, Chris? Hey, Jack. How are you? Good. Yeah, I was starting to think I wouldn't hear from you. Yeah, well, it was all lined up. There's a bloke in Melbourne waiting to see you. His name's Brian. He'll look you over. Then it'll be yes or no. All right? Fantastic. Good. Schooner. Beautiful. Yeah, a double scotch, no ice. Thank you. Doing deals interstate really pumps me up. You're on your own. And some of the people you've got to do business with. If they told you the sun was coming up tomorrow, you'd get a second opinion. End of story. Doing a deal makes me feel really horny, mate, you know? How, how about you? Feel good? Furthest thing from my mind, Brian. Shit, look at the bed, mate. Christ, I'm cooking. Woo! Cooking like gas. Yeah. Fuck. Could do with a drink, though. What do you reckon? You mind? Nah. Mmm. TV. What are you looking for, mate? Oh, mate, what do you think I'm looking for? Fairy godmother? Hey, Mum. No, mate. What do you think I'm looking for? Come on, mate, let's get this thing happening, eh? You're not feeling a bit sort of nervous, are you, mate? Where's the money? I don't think that's room service, mate. <laughs> All right. Who's this boy? Who are you? Who do you think I am? Dave. Brian. Brian, Dave. Mate? Oh. It's all there. <laughs> Mate, it looks all there. It's good money. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very grubby. Is it dirty? Got it from a good bookmaker friend of mine. Well, I hope you had a good fucking day. It's mine now. <laughs> Not yet. Tell you what, mate. Why don't you take a seat? Not a problem. Good stuff. Very amenable, this man. Down to work. Oh, fellas, looks good. Looks good. What can I say? It's going to be a long day. One, two, three. What happens when he runs out of bloody fingers? <laughs> Too large to prime. Yeah. Bottle of coke. Yeah. Oh. Mate, you're a few notes short here. No, 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 that's bullshit, mate. Mate, you are trying to cheat me, aren't you? What's going on? Uh, Brian, I think you got it wrong. I just counted the money, mate, didn't I? Well, count it again. You don't know where that money's been. You know, it might have some sauce from somebody's pie on it. You know. Oh, pull my dick, mate, get fucked. Brian, I counted that money myself, didn't I? I, I didn't touch it. I counted it myself and I went to school, all right? Now, you want to do the deal or don't you? You want to do it? Okay. Go on, see you. What's up? Jesus fucking Christ. Now you are 50 bucks over, eh? What, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Brian, what do you mean now? It's the same money, Brian. Mate, you are 50 bucks over. Look at it, 50 bucks. Keep it, mate. It's a tip, all right? One of the problems with this line of work is that trust tends to be limited by the intellect you're dealing with. Mate, now the best thing for me to do is just take the bloody cash and come back with the gear, yeah? <laughs> hey? Yeah, what do you think I am, Brian? <laughs> Mate, you're a bloody cop for all I know. Oh, well, I am a cop. Yeah? You want me to show me badge? <laughs> Shit, I left it at home. <laughs> come on, mate, come on. You gonna show me the heroin or what? Where's the heroin? All right, you want the heroin? Oh, mate, I'll 
I'll get you the heroin. Money and stress do strange things to people. It's all set up here. He's too nervous, Alan. I've seen the money. Jesus, just this once, will you? <laughs> mate, we've got to go and get the stuff. What do you mean? My supply's not going to come here, mate. No, mate, the deal's got to be done here. Oh, come on, why does it have to be Look, done here, listen, mate? listen, the agreement was the deal's done here. It's it doesn't be done have to here. be done here. Jack, I told Jack, the deal's got to be done here, oh, right? come on, mate, he doesn't feel safe doing business anywhere but in his own place, like anyone I'm, else. Hey, I'm not leaving here. I'm not leaving here, all right? What's the problem? Doesn't he want to go through with it? Well, mate, it's no bloody big deal. He just doesn't want to expose himself. Oh, come on, mate. I'm not asking him to drop what, his why, pants. Why don't you let me take the money and come no, back no, with you? No, no, no. We've gone money, through this, Brian. Oh, we've got fuck, mate. What's Jeez. your problem? What's the matter I'm with the you? One who, I'm the one who's putting this bloody deal together, so? okay? What's the problem? I mean, he doesn't know whether you're going to rip him off or not. I, oh. I don't know that. I mean, he doesn't know you're feeling embarrassed. You're paranoid, Brian. Right? I mean, paranoid. just because fucking Jack, okay? It doesn't mean a fucking thing. Mate, there's 110 big ones, mate. It's just sitting there straight in, straight out. No big deal. It's yours, mate. Look, I've never asked very much as a mate now, have I? Come on, Alan, I haven't. Any time you ever want me to be there, be there, haven't I? Come on, mate, just this one, please! Come on! On, now listen, there's no way I'm going in there. If he wants to see the gear, mate, he can come fine. out here. I'm not sure, moving from sure, the car, right? Sure, now, if there's fine. anything fishy about this guy, we're going to build the crap out of him. We're going to tape up his gob, we're going to dump him in the sticks. You've got nothing to worry about. Now, you I'm understand this. I've come out here for you. I don't do it for anybody. Now, Thanks, if there's mate. anything fishy about this guy, I'm holding you responsible. You'll get nothing more from me. Not mate, a fucking thing. She's fine. I'll get the pick. It's on. No, no, no. I told you, I'm not leaving the building, mate. Mate, yeah, mate, it's just outside around the corner. He's come here. He's in the car. Just out the front here. The man's come here. It's just around the corner. It's not far. Come on, please. Now, come on. It's you just around the corner. Around, I'm not stuffing you around. He's there Fine. waiting for He came for you. Come Let's on. Do it. It's right. here, right? Around the, around the bloody corner where Santa was going to be. Alan, mate. This is Chris. Uh, dead, mate. It better not take this long next time. Listen, I didn't know whether you were for real or not. Okay? Now, I'm short about the four ounces. I had another customer. I didn't know what the fuck right? was going on. Alright. Get in the car, I'll show it to you. No, well, I'm not getting in any car. What's a setup? Where's the hammer? I've got it here now. Well, get in the car and show it to me. Alan, mate, come on. Well, show us the heroin, Alan. You turn that bloody thing off, you want to go to Melbourne to see what we're doing. Well? Francis in one bag. Half pound the other. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec, mate. Sure, mate. Look, you just wait here for a sec. I'll go and get the money, all right? Sure, mate. Three months on an operation, working with the scum of the earth and my colleagues shoot me in the foot. I hate working in this state. I know it's him. BKG, this is Detective Wheel. Thank you, Tony. Sir. Go on, Tony. It's on that gear. All the post and caution. What the hell is him? Stay with him. Stay with him. He stacked it. He stacked it. He stacked it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
me out of this stuff. I know you pissed off me. It was a mess. Bloody mess. That's him. This is a bloke. That's him. Alan Williams. I want him caught. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, show pony. Ex painter and docker. Real movie star. Can we get him? We've got Hanson. We'll find Williams. Don't you worry about that, right. Ken. I'll circulate the body wide, right? My, John, my informant's exposed. I mean, if, if, Rich, if, if Williams... Just hang on a sec. My informant's okay. gone, mate. I mean, if Williams you know, calls Richardson in Sydney, on, he'll know my informant's given him up. Well, I'll give you a week to throw those charges. You yeah, get up in Sydney, don't worry. All right, all right. What's he like, this bloke? What's he like, Williams? You pull in a big one. This bastard does not like being locked up. He'll get nasty. He's got big guns, lots of money in the bank, all the protection he needs. Nobody's talking about anything. I wasn't finished with my informant, Frank Avery. There was a few things to clear up. This is the last one, Mr. Drury. I'm... I'm sure they've heard about the job in Melbourne. I can smell it. Who's hurt, Frank? Hanson's been arrested. They're looking for Williams. Jack Richards. They're going to fit it all together. He knows you're a knock. He sent me talking to you. I'm in a shit up to me bottom lip. All right, Frankie. All right, mate. You can have a holiday after this one, all right? Will you be spending summer trying to get the sand off your toffee apple? <laughs> or are you thirsty for more? <sighs> Like going on location with MTV. Oh, wow! To win one of three million prizes, check your Coca-Cola ring pools and bottle tops. Go on, search for it. How clever does a dog have to be to deserve pedigree rask, the delicious chew? Not very. Remember, it's not just delicious. Its special shape helps get his teeth really clean. So there's always a good reason to give pedigree rask. Why are they in such a hurry? When the packages they carry could often be sent in seconds by ISDN. Why do we use so much paper? When the paperless office is quicker and more efficient. Why do they do that every day? When mobile manager systems could make the journey unnecessary. Why not change the way we work? For a guide to how you could take advantage of communications technology, call BT on 0800 800 800. When it comes to killing insects, all you need to know is RAID. <laughs> RAID kills bugs dead. Mommy, I found something! You thought it was over. You thought it was safe. You thought wrong. A Steven Spielberg film. The Lost World. Great news! Friends Series 2 is available on video. That is excellent. Friends, the latest releases. Cool. Collect them all. Sport. It taught your language. New Mum Sport Antiperspirant performs hardest yeah. when you need it most. Total confidence, no sweat. Come on, guys. Don't be alone. To make new friends, just pick up the phone. Oh, eight, nine, one. Hey, 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 chat. Thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. Some thoughts on, should I sleep with it or not? This is a big question. I mean, how long can you really wear a tampon? Overnight? All night? How many hours is OK? It says here my Tampax tampon can be worn overnight. An expert review of independent research says that tampons can be worn day or night for up to eight hours. That's reassuring. So I can wear Tampax overnight without losing any sleep. But do I have to go to bed? Tampax. Women know. Musical does a dog have to be to deserve pedigree markies, the treat with the marrowbone centre? Not very. Remember, they're not just delicious, they're new treasures with calcium and phosphorus for strong bones. 
so there's always a good reason to give pedigree markies. Your flight details? Oh, thanks. I didn't know you were going to Melbourne. Yeah, the committal. Yeah. I thought you were trying to get out of there. There's nothing I can do. I'll see your face. Pam, I don't want to talk about this. If you want to get upset about it, there's nothing I can do. I'm not getting upset. I mean, the fact is, you're there in court. Pam, I'm the only one who got a good fix on Williams. I shook hands with the man. I can identify him. Now, if I don't go down to Melbourne and give evidence, the whole case falls apart. End of story. Mick, why is it that I can see the danger in what you're doing? I mean, you're kidding yourself. But you were the only one close enough to make a positive identification. Yes, that's mm. correct. He was introduced to me as Alan. It was dark? Well, not too dark for me to see his face. Apart from a few minor hitches, like Williams almost getting off at the committal, it was starting to smell like a successful operation. Williams is a heavy man, he commands a lot of power, and he doesn't like being inside. He knows I was a contact. Mm. I put you in touch with him, right? Well, he knows that. You know Frank Over is dead, don't you? No, I didn't. Mm. Yeah, they found him in a hotel room with a needle stick no, out of Frank don't do drugs. Well, I was cutting out a lot of his action. Well, he doesn't do heroin. Right, I do. I, I'll give you this much. You suck me in. Yeah, well, nothing personal, Jack. It's not paid for. I'll tell you also. Any messages? Mm. Mick! Well, ran into Rogers and he wants to see you about the job in Melbourne. My job? Yeah, something about $35,000. He said you'd know what's about. When? What are you ready? Roger, it's Mick Drury here from the drug squad. I believe you want to see me. Well, I can come and see you now. What did you want to see me about? This bloke Williams, you were charged in Melbourne. I've got a good friend who's a friend of his who's prepared to pay 15 to 25 to see Williams gets off. Who is it? It's just a bloke I locked up a few years ago who's turned out to be okay. I heard it was 35,000. No. 15 to 25. Well, I can't do anything. Melbourne's got the brief. I'm just going down to give evidence. Anyway, if I change my story now, everyone's going to know I've got something. Under no circumstances take any money off anyone for anything. My hands are tied. I have to say no. All I can do is go down to Melbourne and give my evidence as it is. He's going to have to take pot luck. Don't call me at work about this, because they're tapping our phones. The feds are tapping everyone's phones.
I could hear their conversations even though I wasn't there. I could see their faces. I was on my own. What you call me in for? Got the street blocked off, it's all set up, and this bastard's going off his rocker. Too big for me, mate. I don't need this, Jim. I don't need this shit. Who is this bloke? It's average family man with terminal cancer and Timmy Beersley, Billy. Oh, well, that's all right. Get away from me, you fuck! I think you cut him in half, Jim. The autopsy revealed the punter didn't have cancer at all. Some guys have no luck. End of the line, Roger. Aye? Deputy Commissioner wants you out of the breakers. Jesus, he doesn't give up, does he? He's got a few more backing him up this time. Come on, Noel, I've been keeping my head down. I couldn't help what happened the other week. You killed the black. Mate, I wasn't even armed. I'm shifting you to Darlinghurst. God knows I don't want to do this. I'm not going back to a desk job. You'll like it there, mate. Pig's eyes, Noel. Junkies, drunks and busted up sluts. I'm in the breakers, Noel, at what I do best. I've got to do what I'm told, like we all do. Yeah, because I wiped that little piece of scum off the face of the earth. Oh, well, come on, mate, that's what this is all about. Bloody land Franchi. I did everybody a favour. Jesus, mate, don't you know why they're after your ass? Stand up to them, Noel. We're the power. We run the force, not them. It's too late for us, Roger. Mate, how far back do we go? Back to the 60s. 20 years, for Christ's sake. You dragged me out of uniform. You showed me the ropes. You told me I was headed for the top job. You taught me everything. All right, we've got some good memories. Yeah, all, all right, fine. Okay, mate. Well, you remember the good times, and I'll remember the bad times. Okay? Might be a lot of people are interested in them. I know you, Jack. The only thing between your average punter and total anarchy is someone like me. I've been out there working for everybody. Who's going to work for me? There's too much blood under the bridge, Noel. The Deputy Commissioner thought I needed a rest. Something about getting me out of the limelight. I was disappointed. I think the blokes on the squad were sorry to see me leave. Hey, Frank. Hey, Roger. How are you, mate? Good, mate. What's your story? Good to see you, mate. You want to come through here? I've got a nice guest test today, especially for you. Yeah. People said I was ruthless, but I had a lot of influence. If my tower was so strong, why was I transferred overnight to Darlinghurst by the Commissioner? Who were my powerful friends within the police department? Billy. We'll pop your top, mate. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, Billy. Yeah. Packed house, mate. Look what the poor people are doing. <laughs> yeah, drink up, Ned. This might be the last one of these things I come to. All right, you're going to be back, and everybody knows it. Not to worry about it. <laughs> Save Noel for later. Two schooners, there you go. Leave the trip to me. Been able to speak a word to him for weeks. Yeah, any. He didn't want to do it. Everybody knows oh, that Oh, bullshit. Well. Noel could have stood up to him, Billy. He knows how to kick a head when it's sticking out of the pack. Never thought it would be mine. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, well, sympathy's never been his strong suit, you know that. Look at this mob. Most of these bastards don't know what a fist in the mush is. Too Soft true. no guts desk dockies. I don't know what they're trying to do to me. Cut your balls off? 
Deputy Commissioners are mongrel, trying to dig something up on me for ages, telling people I'm corrupt. But Noel, <laughs> Noel was a turn up for the books. There's a mate for you. Pig's ass. Look at these bastards. Oh! Look at them. This is a brotherhood, mate. This is a brotherhood, eh? I know. Hey, this it. is the brotherhood that's we all it. talk about. And it is. It is. If they lie, you call it the truth. If they steal, you call it nine-tenths of the law. If they kill, you call it self-defence. What about Maury? Oh, this old man at the end of his career tells me it's OK to betray Catch up and throw you to the dogs. All those years meant nothing. He always said, look after your brother. What he meant was, look after yourself. Right. Someone ought to go in front of the trip. What's the matter with you? I couldn't help it, mate. I couldn't help it. Couldn't you help ask it. me before you go and do something stupid like that, all right? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, mate. Listen, that sort of help he doesn't need. Yeah, mate. You don't know what's going on here. You had no right to do that to him, mate. You had no right to oh, do that to him. Shit. No right. You're one of us, mate. You always had me. You're the best cook I've ever seen. The best cook I've ever seen, mate. Don't you ever say that to me again. I'm on the inside. You understand me? I'm on the inside, looking out. You are on the outside. You will always be on the outside. You have no choice in that matter. Do you understand me? Jesus Christ. I gained a reputation for being able to talk to criminals. Some of these hardened criminals, dangerous criminals even. Chris Flannery was included in this group. Go ahead, Ned. What do they call you? They are, what is it? Uh, rent or something? Hmm? Ah, rent to kill, that's it. Rent to kill. Only my friends. She's just a funny name, mate. Got your mind to hide me on the door. I don't hide, mate. Spotted you as soon as I came in. Could have had a bullet between your eyes before you got off the stool. You always so shy. I hear you want to collect 50 for me, mate. I told you that. Come on, we're having a conversation here. It's worth shit. Well, I don't know. Don't tell me everyone. You're knock me 50 grand. Knock me 50 grand. Somebody's been lying to you. 50 grand? You're knocking 50 grand. Ned, it's like I said, misunderstanding. What do you Bullshit. think? I'm, what do you think I'm a dog? You think I'm a dog? Huh? I think you're worth a lot more than 50 grand. <laughs> well, I just said I'd have to brown those a bit. Well, we're 50 more about that cop? rent -a kill was a roving resource with time to kill, amongst other things. It seemed like a good idea to put him and Nettie together. Will you be spending summer trying to get the sand off your toffee apple? Or are you thirsty for more? Like going on location with MTV! Oh, wow! To win one of three million prizes, check your Coca-Cola ring pools and bottle tops. Go on, thirst for it!
Before at the kickoff, Mama had already prepared her ragu lasagna sauces so we can make a de lasagna for her. With a rich tomato sauce for the meat and a special smooth water sauce over the lasagna. It was easy peasy. Bellissimo. And then come at the Mama test. Only ragu make lasagna so easy peasy with their two special new sauces, inspired by Mama's secret recipes. Some thoughts on, should I sleep with it or not? This is a big question. I mean, how long can you really wear a tampon? Overnight? All night? How many hours is okay? It says here, my Tampax tampon can be worn overnight. An expert review of independent research says that tampons can be worn day or night for up to eight hours. That's reassuring. So I can wear Tampax overnight? Without losing any sleep. But do I have to go to bed? Tampax. Women know. Now's the time to start filling in your tax return form. That way, if you get a bit lost, you'll have more time to get any help you might need from your tax office, who will be happy to steer you in the right direction. The Sony PC7 Digital Handicap. Perfect for things like weddings. That's Ross and me at the airport. That's Ross and me at Oxford. That's Ross and me at Blackpool. That's Ross and me in Wales. That's that's Ross and me at Big Ben. That's Ross and me at Edinburgh. That's Ross and me at Wellwyn Garden City. Enjoy the new tasty tropical shake. Why not grab some cool 99p shades at McDonald's, Britain's biggest summer attraction. Oh, and that's Ross and me in France. Phone numbers on the line. Call friends at the meeting point. 0891 79 79 79. Jesus Christ, you know, he only shot a lawyer. He should have been given a medal for it. What are you looking at? I'm just looking around, looking at the floor, looking at the door. What do you think I'm looking You're looking up my dress. <laughs> not interested in looking up your frock. I doubt it, Billy. What is it with his jury? Is he seen Jesus or something? I land on him, he resisted. You know, how do you think it makes me feel? Jury's got no right to lay down the law. He's a cop. I put an acceptable business situation to him. Jesus, he's an asshole. Don't I know it? Right up my nose when the butter looked little prick told me he wasn't coming to the party. Oh, have a good look, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> if Drew was going to cop a quid, I'd have known about it by now. Stuff it. Yeah, well, my mate's starting to sweat. <laughs> so is Billy. Yeah, well, you know, we should have a talk. Get him up from Melbourne. Why don't you offer him 50,000? Offer him 100,000? He's got to take it sooner or later, because I'm not going back into jail. Listen, I've got half a million in cash. Right? Well, that's a lot of money. Now, you take whatever part of it that you need. How about that? I'm in your hands. That's right. Now, if this is not settled, the trial's in a couple of weeks, I'm not turning up. And 
Brian might, but I don't know what Jack will do. Who's Jack? Jack Richardson. He was charged with me and Brian. Can I see you for a minute? I'm in the middle of a chair. Yeah. Who have you got? I caught this one dealing quite openly in the surrounding streets and back lanes. And in the hotel Can itself. I give you some advice? Yeah. Lay off. What do you mean? I mean, you've got a big future in the job if you don't screw it up, and that means doing what I say. And only doing my job. Well, you do your job somewhere else. So it's under surveillance then? By me. Yeah? Yes. Sure. Take the advice, Sunshine. I'd hate to see you spend the next five years on four wheels. What are you doing? Real police work, the sort that puts hardened criminals behind bars, means forming relationships with people you wouldn't piss on if they're on fire. Shut the fuck up! I know there are certain policemen who are members of pistol clubs who enjoy all that, get some sexual gratification out of guns. I think a guy who wants to carry a gun like that, there's something strange about it. I just think he's Clint Eastwood. Hey, boss, what's the news on Dewey? Uh, well, not good. Oh, ah, yeah. Early days, yeah? Not anymore, it's not. To be a good policeman, you have to be a man of the world. <laughs> Call yourself a police officer. Right, are this ship? Roger. Yep, yeah, three. Assault matters, a few drug matters. Daily as well. You've got to eat. Can I see you in private for a minute about a matter? Much the same. Break against drug offences, etc. Just take it. I thought we should talk. Things don't look like they get any better. You know they found Jack Richardson's body just outside of Melbourne. It was on the side of the road in the bush with two bullet holes in the back of the head. They killed him. These people don't muck around. You know, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that they had him knocked. You know, or did it themselves. This matter's red hot. There are a lot of very important people watching it now. And I just wanted you to know that there's absolutely nothing that can be done. End of story. Drew is too committed to change his evidence. Is the money a problem? It's useless. He's not going to budge. I'm not trying to bullshit you. I can't. How can I get you? Well, if no business can be done, what other options are there? What other options are there? I'm not going back into jail. That'll kill me. Now, come on, you know what I went through when I was in there last time. This goes to trial, I'm in for life, I can't face it. Mate, I'm gone if I can't do something. Are you going to help me or not? Well, I know what I'd do. What would you do? You want me to kill him? That's a pretty big step. Well, it looks like the only alternative you've got. Yeah. You, you just do what you think's best. Roger's the best. Yeah, right. Raj, Alan and me have just been talking. We think the only way to solve Alan's problem is for Drury not to make it to court. I'm 
not doing it by myself. Can't be a little prick shit it out. No, I've no time with him. He talks in his sleep. And what's he gonna talk about us? He won't do it. Just gonna have to be a big drink. Well, he's got plenty. You gotta go with me. Yeah, we'll sort out details later. It'll be done. How much is it going to cost me then? Well, you know what I usually cost, Alan. Fifty grand. So it'll cost me fifty thousand then? No. Fifty each. Okay. So you want the money up front? No, fifty now. Fifty on result. And you're sure it'll be sweet, there'll be no kickback on me? Well, obviously there'll be talk, you'll be questioned, but if you... if you keep your trap shut, there shouldn't be any dramas, Alan. And an alibi? What about an alibi? I'm going to be a prime suspect. Alan, this, you know? you've got to report twice a day on bail. Can't be in two places at once. Now, yeah, can you? I don't know how much I appreciate this. Thanks very much. I'm not doing this for you, asshole. Normally I wouldn't give skim like you the time of day. Here's a dickhead who doesn't listen. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't stand with, over me. You're not in the breakers anymore, are you? What's this? What's that, eh? Where'd you get this? Your informant. He wouldn't give this to you? He wouldn't give this to you. We get new kids all the time. They're on probation, right? Some of them stay on and do well for themselves. Some don't. Good, uh, I'm going to have to report this to the Assistant Commissioner. You've been transferred to court duties. Have a good life. So did you send Kath out to check the place over? What, are you nuts? Why not? She was the brains of the operation, didn't she, mate? I reckon we take the easy way out. Shoot him at home. Quick and simple. What sort of weapon, Ned? Hey, you leave me right out of it, mate. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I'd go for a magnum through a window. Just gotta wait. Can't miss. <laughs> Bullshit. You can, mate. <laughs> Thanks, love. Shouldn't have done that. Hey, I love making sandwiches, Chris. What about it, Ned? You're not changing your mind, are you, mate? No, I just thought Nettie might like to pick up a bit of loose change. I'll oh, leave your voice to it. What are you talking about? I'm not doing this by myself. He's a cop, for Christ's sake. Listen, mate, you leave me right out of it. You said you were in. The two of us. You wanted to be Laurie up from Melbourne. Whatever you think's going to work. Hey, you're not going cold on me, are you, mate? Listen, he's a cop, Roger. Look at Lan Franchi, for Christ's sake. He just waves his gun to cop and he's off tap. Just a patrol cop, right? There's nothing Park, special about sake. Drury. That's right. We drove off him half his cellar and he double crossed us. You gotta be taught a lesson, Ned. I really think you should think about it, mate. He's broken the code. God knows I've been patient, you know. Give him a chance. He's given us this problem. Moralising bastard got no right to act righteous. He knows what to expect. A real cop wouldn't put me in this situation. You always said never shoot a cop. That was you, sunshine. I'm different. My mate's been trying to ring me urgently. He 
he's uh, he's going to ring me back with some urgent information. Are you working over the weekend? Well, no, I've got four days off. Will you be at home? Yes. Well, if anything urgent comes up, I'll ring you at home over the weekend. What's your number? Uh, it's 219 Right. Sure. Okay. A problem with the designs. Bye. How's that going? Okay. Uh, you're right? Looking at, are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. You're eating so well. Very proud. Now you're going to show your chicken how well you eat. Do you see your chicken? I'm going to take you in. They hate their country, these plates. They hate their country's greatest asset. You can't be. Gonna saints. Come on. If there's any changes, I don't want you to give him any shit. I don't want you to be laid. Yeah, shut up, will you? Just shut up, will you? Don't you treat me like a kid. Just shut up, will you? Listen, St Kilda, grand final, 66. Barry Breen kicked the winning point. When you've been there 20 been minutes, just ring me up Stressed. and I'll come and pick you they up. They killed him, you know why? Because I was there. 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 Here, I'm waiting in the there. car. Yeah. Blue Murder continues tomorrow on 4 at 10 to 11.
go into the bedroom, take the key. Don't come out no matter what. This is the signal one. I'm a policeman. I've been shot at home. Arrest one, one, two, four. Nerida Street, N-E-R-D-A-H. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, stay with me. Oh, Jesus, stay with me, please, God. Oh, Jesus, I'm coming. Jesus, I want to die like this. Mick, listen to me. I'm going to get Dr. Allen. What are the kids? The kids are okay, baby. They're, they're okay. You're going to be fine. It's going to oh, be all right. Oh, Jesus, stay with me, please, Lord. I don't want to die like this. I just want to hold my kids, please. <laughs> Across the top of the pancreas. Holes everywhere. The, bowel the bullets, gone. Doctor, where are they? <sighs> One's in the last pack, in the last. We have to have them tonight. Look, I've just sewn him up. I'm sorry about that. Nice man, if I go in again, he could die. Look, we have no some... choice. Just someone should have told me before this. They're hollow points. Tell him they meant business. An old mate of the Dodgers, Superintendent Angus MacDonald, took charge of the investigation. Everyone called him Black Angus. Maybe not to his face. For Christ's sake, no. Half the drag squad's under armed guard. They've got swast troops taking up their living rooms and kitchens. 
Who the hell am I supposed to put out in the streets to find out who pulled the trigger? Something will turn up. Whoever heard of a crook that guts the hide outside a copper's house and shoot him down in cold blood? Yeah. Professional job, no risk, bad business. Well, Jim. Homicides should be out there getting their fingers on their contacts. I, think I can do that. Get them on the streets, get the Go bus. Can't do that. Why the hell not? It's outside homicides too. Bullshit. It's not a homicide matter. The man's still breathing. Look, who the hell cares? It's a police officer. He's been shot. Who cares who works on it as long as they're the best? I'm telling you it'll be handled by the drug squad and divisional detectives. Do you understand? No, I'm afraid I don't. You've got a man from drugs. You've got a man from breaking. You've got a couple from homicide. You've got no one in charge. It's a dog's no, it's breakfast. Not, Jim. I don't see any reason why locals can't handle it. I spoke to West out of Chatswood. He's You're happy. Not serious. You don't want the locals to handle it. I want a professional, aggressive investigation. What you'll get, Jim. Not the way it's shaping up. Detective Les Knox. We're working on the case. You, you know Ken Bittich? Terry Dawson? Michael, it's just a tube to help you breathe. You won't see, Michael. It's all right. It's all right, Michael. I'm just going to finish your chest, mate. Three days. Okay. Just want to see. Is he doing that? Three days. Okay. It's okay. Do you want some soup? It's all right. Looking better, Mick. You can only get better, mate. You're going to go to Melbourne, Mick. See if we can get on to something, all the leads are coming from there. Rogers. No, no one's heard a thing from him, mate. Not the Dodger. Should they? It's a cock up, Mick. Sometimes we report the West, other times we see Willis or Webster and Homicide. McDonald turns up. It's rooted, mate. Maury. He's retiring. Next week, Rogers is organising a big piss up for him at the coachman. Everyone's invited. Best wishes on the retirement. Thanks, boys. Okay, Angus, you all set to take over? Come on, mate. I've been running this outfit for months. Righto, so what do you got? Come on, mate. You don't want to talk shop. Now give me the shit. Got a call from Graham Inkster up in Newcastle. He's got a bloke on remand. Conspiracy to the fraud. What's a bit of help in court? So who is...